Hello again. Welcome back. We will be playing the game, Spawn of the Dead. Today's video is a self-challenge to determine how far into the game I can go while defending myself with only the pistol. Don't cheat and fast forward to the end. I will of course be tempted by all the weapons that are available, but I will ignore all of it and sacrifice myself for your entertainment. We are looking at the pistol. It is the only thing I will use today. Wish me luck. Gymnastic zombie number one on deck. Did you see that jump? Simply incredible. Judge's decision, 8 out of 10. Because I am only using the pistol. I will attempt to make as many headshots as possible. I do that in regular games anyway. But today it will become more critical. Some slack and idle zombie coming up from behind. You slow, sorry, piece of beat. That'll learn ya. Alright. We made short work of that. We are already at wave 2. The ugly, smelly undead will now be advancing from the right side. Call your father just to say hello. Once these slow-moving carcasses get a move on. We might even have a show today. It is almost as if we just woke them up. It is amazing to me how fast they can go slow. Does that even make sense? Be kind to people. It is starting already. There are little weapons sitting up on that roof, begging me to look at them. There is no harm in having a look. I would like a clean field of view anyway. No distractions if you know what I mean. I will fill up this pond behind me with what I find. Wave 3 is upon us. I believe that it is key to shoot the damn zombies as far away as possible. In this wave, it would appear that the zombies are all assembled behind the barn on the left. Are they having a game of bingo back there or something? Maybe there is a zombie support group meeting. They are going to need it. It must be hard being a zombie, everyone wanting to kill you. That must weigh on your mind after a while. If you are a teenager watching this, I want you to pause this video and go clean up your room. Way 4. Where are these stinking zombies? Oh, the wave hasn't started yet, I can be so impatient. I think this guy has body armor or something. Peace be with you. There we go. He finally went down. Farm implements are such useless weapons, don't these stupid zombies know that? So far, the pistol has been perfectly suited for the task at hand. You don't need anything else at this point. Word of advice. Don't go drinking with zombies. You'll thank me later. Another useful weapon to get rid of. I'm doing this for you. Wave 4 is winding down. It was a little slow to start. Wave 5. The disgusting spitters have just arrived in their cool looking suits. Their purpose, other than to annoy, is to spit at you. They rarely ever come within hitting distance. I assume that is because they are shy and reserved. These spitters used to work at the nearby plant. Even when they were alive, they didn't have any friends, now look at them. Pathetic. How do they manage to spit at you with those masks on? On slow waves like this, I like to not only kill zombies, slowly. But I am also able to reconcile my checkbook simultaneously. That's not really true. I haven't owned a checkbook for many years. I ran out of checks and found out that if I wanted to order more, I would have to pay $50. Forget that. I imagine that the young people watching this don't even know what I'm talking about. That's okay, you are not missing anything. Wave 6 is up at bat. A three-legged dog could play this wave successfully. In this wave you will see a lot of farm implements. Many pitchforks for some reason. Knowing that there are machine guns lying all over the place. Why are these stupid zombies selecting pitchforks? They also carry them above their heads as if their armpits are chaffing or something. Maybe they could use some moisturizer? We will never know. Because they can no longer talk by the time they get near me. Who knew there would be so much money to make on pitchfork sales? 
I have to wonder if the creators ever visited a farm? Wave 7. Nothing out of the ordinary to look at here. You are a good person. Another shotgun into the drink. Eeny mini miny mo, catch a zombie by the toe, if he hollers shoot his other toe, ho ho ho. I know, that sounded ridiculous. Honestly, I don't know where this stuff comes from sometimes. Let's carry on as if we are normal. It seems a little slow here. I wonder if it is safe to provide energy drinks to zombies? My youngest son drinks them from time to time. He seems okay, I think it is the same thing. There is just one last stinking jerk remaining and we can sum up this wave. Okay, wave 8 it is. It has been a walk in the park so far, easy pickings for the pistol. The putrid little green guys are on deck now. Not even the creators know what these things are. No one talks about them. They are like a mistake. Like some deep fake algorithm that no one wants to correct. They are supposed to be zombies, but they have been mutated into something unrecognizable. It is highly recommended that we shoot them and be done with it. The little green guys are easy to stop at any rate. At this stage of the game, they are rather slow, and headshots are still a viable option. When they get faster later on, a simple shot to the leg will put an end their stinking alien life. I hope I didn't offend any real aliens out there with my insensitive comments. If you are watching this and you are from another planet, you have my sincere apologies. Good, we are at wave 9 already, and without so much as a real challenge to my ability. Forgive me for bragging. As you can see, this scenario provides a plethora of small arms for all shooting methods. I would avoid the axe. It really is a distraction and does not help in the long run. On the contrary, the use of the axe actually allows the ugly, foul breath undead to stand right beside you. What's up with that? Who out there has tried the new beta, the cabin? I applied to test the beta but I am not operating on a quest 2, so I did not make the cut. I wonder how I will do when I finally get in there. Will it even be available on the original Oculus Quest? I doubt it. Wave 10. We will now have the pleasure of shooting the large green guys. They are slow moving brutes. And I would imagine they would be embarrassed to see their results on an IQ test. They just don't seem to have the wherewithal to be engineers. If you know what I mean. The batteries in my right controller will have to be replaced after this game. The big green guys require more rounds to the noggin so I will be using up more battery power. This will also begin the test of my accuracy and technique with the pistol. I was never able to properly reload. I will admit it here, and only to you. I was just observing my surroundings. So like, what is the deal with these sea containers all ask you and what not? What happened here that these huge containers are on top of walls? You need a special forklift to move these things around and I don't see anything of the sort here at the farm. Wave 11. Dramatic pause here. Who is the guy that sounds that horn to start the wave? Is he another zombie? We will require a padre here to administer last rites to these stupid zombies. They are dropping like flies. I was just looking around the yard here and, so like. What is the deal with these sea containers all ask you and what not? What happened here that these huge containers are balancing on top of walls? You need a special forklift to move these things around and I don't see anything of the sort here at the farm. What is the backstory here? I would really like to know. Wave number 12. Wave 12 sports the not-so-world-famous flying spitters. What were the creators smoking when they developed this character? Don't get me wrong. They are fun to shoot at. 
Hit properly, they sound just like a firecracker and it is a very satisfying sound. I still find it hard to take flying spitters seriously. I'm sorry, but it's true. I can believe zombies and alien zombies, but flying zombie spitters? This concept has crossed a line. The pace here appears adequate so far for the pistol range. Wow, that was cool. Hitting a zombie in mid-flight. Lucky wave number 13. Not so lucky for these stinking zombies and their heathen brethren. Fighting zombies here on the farm encourages me to start talking in Old English for some reason. Need a medic here. Technically, I could get up and go make a coffee, watch a little TV and then come back to continue the game here. There we go, some movement finally. I've said it a hundred times. If these stupid zombies were quieter, they would be 100% more effective. What a bunch of noisy losers. Wave 13 winding down. Just a couple of dead heads to take care of here. Wave 14 on tap. I'll have a glass of that. There are a lot of green alien looking creatures roaming around in wave 14. What the heck are these things? Are they supposed to be something that Dr. Monday came up with? Nobody tells me anything. I do know one thing. Shut up and shoot them. So far, even with only the pistol to defend myself, I have not really been challenged. I don't actually expect a fight until wave 20 and onward. I know. That sounds like I am bragging. Maybe a little bit. Alright you little zombies. Come and get it. I was just starting to get all riled up and then the wave is almost at an end. Let's finish with these losers and move on. Wave 15. Expect to see big ugly losers with oversized shields. Now. What are these things supposed to be? I mean the shields. They look a little bit like an old car door. I haven't even seen any old cars around. Where are they getting these shields from? Alright. The tempo has picked up nicely. Busy and dangerous, just the way I like it. My right wrist is bothering me a little bit. This may affect my performance. Don't be worried for me. Just go on without me. This is just a game after all. Isn't it? Sometimes it is hard to tell what is real and what is fake. I have seen a couple of these zombies at work. It's just a blur sometimes. Zombie, government employee. Where does one draw the line? I am not knowing. Donate to a good cause. Wave 16 already, we're cooking with oil now. Who says that? Yuch. That looked like it hurt. You can also shoot through the little window in the shield if your aim is up to snuff. Up to snuff? Where am I pulling these phrases out of? I sound like I was born in 1880. There are a ton of these shield jerks keeping me busy. Sometimes I can clean them up quickly. Sometimes. Not so much. I will have to shoot better if I am to advance to any meaningful wave level. Remain calm and you will persevere. Say hello to your neighbor and ask them how they are. Wave 17. Cover off and close it up. That is drill sergeant talk. Stay focused and alert. Okay, we are still only using the pistol. Wave 17 typically can get quite busy, wish me luck. 
One more wave before the stupid rocket guys get their marching orders. Perhaps I spoke too soon about this wave being busy. Be kind to animals. While I have your attention, I would like to remind you that this is just a game and that you should not be shooting zombies in real life. Just avoid them if you can. What is the secret to a long and healthy life? Is it just eating well and exercise? Or is there more to it than that? Or is it family and interaction? These are the thoughts of a zombie killer while at work. Wow. That shield guy was quite animated in his approach. Maybe a little bit too dramatic. What do you think? Wave 18 friends. Bring on the freak rocket brigade. There are usually three of these stinking things to destroy. They are a serious threat and you would be a fool to ignore them. These rocket jerks resemble the plastic army men that you played with as a child. More so than a zombie really? Not to mention that firing a bazooka is not such a simple thing. I don't think a zombie would have the wherewithal to actually use one. Just saying. Standard issue target practice here. I'm wondering if the game recognizes that I am only using a pistol and adjusting the threat to match. The game appears to be unusually slow overall. Perhaps I am giving the creators too much credit in this instance. Donate your time to a good cause. It would be interesting to see all the dead zombies pile up in front of you instead of disappearing after a couple of seconds. My aim is beginning to falter. My feeble wrist is tired or I am gripping the controller too tight. It's going to cost me if I don't buck up soon. Wave 19 has historically been a bit of a slow starter. I'm sure that, that this game will not disappoint today. Call your mother to say hello. As promised, slower than molasses going up a hill in the winter time. Ha! Huh. I heard that saying a long time ago when I was kid. It sounds like something you would say to someone back in 1888. Yes, Sir Jedediah. That their mule is slower than molasses going uphill in the wintertime, yeah, for sure. I'm not sure why I broke out into a Swedish accent near the end. It is just something that happens. A few stragglers here and there. If weapons did not disappear all the time, this pond behind me would be full of assorted guns and small arms. That would be something to see. We are at the end of wave 19. I would like to dedicate this wave to all future zombies. Your time is coming. We have reached a huge milestone at wave 20. Remember as well that we got here with just a pistol. A sparkling new Gatling gun. In a regular game, this would help to assure a successful completion of the game if utilized properly. Many people will use it up in a couple of seconds. Wrong. You need to use it sparingly on spitter and rockets. But today and for this exercise only, I have thrown it away in order to properly entertain you. How did this zombie get so close to me? Her breath stinks. And I'm thinking that she needed some dental work even before she became a zombie. Plenty of shield jerks to practice on today. The shields are very effective and shooting at them directly is useless. Shoot at the top of their foreheads or inside of the little window on the shield. Hey, I thought that big green guy was still there. More shields. Taking care of them at a distance is helpful. Shooting any and all ugly zombies at a distance is just smart. If they get too close, not only do they raise a stink, they also have an advantage of numbers. Normally a machine gun would take care of becoming overwhelmed. This is the last degenerate of the wave, so long sucker. Wave 21. Wave 20 was action packed. Let's hope for more of that on this wave. 
plenty of these little green alien things running around. Easy to dispatch, of course. Did someone say coffee break? Whoop, there we are. Did I wake you up, you lousy stinking zombie? I apologize for the jerking camera. I'm getting all excited and little stressed. Not to mention that my aim is still off and I have not been able to correct it for some reason. A little slow here. The zombies must be regrouping. I don't recall ever seeing such a slow wave 21 before. It is very unusual. Is there a full moon this evening or something? Not much of a show for you folks at this juncture. Sorry about that. Deep breath here, stretch and become one with the calm. Wave 22. On this wave, we have all been waiting for the drill bit jerk to make his debut. There is usually only one on this level and if this were a regular game, the Gatling gun would easily take care of him. Good, no other zombies to entertain yet. Phew, I have always said that if there were no other distractions, you can take down a stinking drill bit knob with just the pistol. A reminder that at wave 22, it now takes two shots to the head to take out a regular zombie. And eight for these stupid big green guys. I guess all the zombies from wave 21 were waiting to show up now. Maybe traffic was delayed at the graveyard. No matter, I will take one and all. This is what I'm talking about now. This level of action is worthy of my skill level. It took a long time to get here. I would love to see this level of action in wave 1. You know, maybe you could specify a skill level when logging in. Of course the game is already developed and I don't see any serious changes like that to be implemented at this stage. One other change that I would like to see is if you finish the game successfully, then maybe all the dead zombies would rise from the ground, drop their weapons and maybe start clapping or something like that, some significant response other than the post-it note that you see now. Wave 23. There are never any drill bit guys on 23. It's like a holiday on 23. How many times am I going to say the number 23? Okay, another slow start here, let's hope it picks up. Double tap. Hmm, is this the calm before the storm or what? A little bit if the matrix showing itself there, green lines on the floor. Am I really me? Oops, I'm in trouble here. I can't seem to hit anything all of a sudden. There are a ton of flying spitters. And those rocket jerks. Don't panic. Remain calm, stay focused. Duck and dive out of the way of those rockets and spitballs if you can. That's the first hit, I'm okay though. Never give up. Always be careful what you ask for. It was too slow earlier, now it's a little too much. Almost have it under control. Second hit. A third hit. Ouch. Stay with the program. Oops, that's number four. One life left to go. Hang on. I feel sick. Wave 24. The drill bit guys are all rested up now and will come for a visit. Sometimes it's just a couple of them, sometimes it's six. I have two lives left wish me luck. It would appear that my aim is lacking overall. My confidence is waning. I wasted time here retrieving a weapon I'm not going to use. There is the first drill bit guy. And the second. Whoops, this is not looking too good. 
Aim for the head, stay calm. Not enough. That's it, folks. I don't think I could have done any better even if my aim was true. I am happy with completing level 23. Thanks for watching. See you later.